Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another mystery bag to share with you and this time it's from Suva Beauty. I saw that they were selling a mystery sack is what they called it, which I thought was kind of funny. So I got this little package today. I cut it open, but it was like really clear that I could just see everything in there. So I just kind of sliced it and then put it to the side until I was ready to film. But this cost $50, but you're supposed to have 16 items in here that value $244. Oh my god, they also said it was going to have at least two of the Hydra liners in there, which I love those, and new releases as well. So I'm very, very excited to see what we got. It's going to be hard for me to not see. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. It's like basically like a Ziploc bag sealed up, and I'm going to be good, and I'm just going to look at the camera. So let's just pull something out. Oh, I think they're like banded together. I got brushes. Okay, here we go. The first one, yes, I actually just used this today. I used a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick as my green eyeliner today, and I used this brush. This is the 610. It is a tiny little liner brush, and I was just thinking today as I was trying to like get the liquid lipstick off, I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have a few of these because once you get like a liquid lipstick or a really good liner in there, you really have to go like deep clean it or get it with some Cinema Secrets or something. So a 610. I'm so excited to have another one of these. A really good brush for liner, especially if you are using like a liquid lip or something that's more liquidy and watery and you want to have a lot of control. Yay! Oh my god, I just peeked. Let's see. We got a Hydra liner. Oh my god! I got the shade Keanu Leaves. This is the best ever. So I actually wanted this shade. I'm so excited. So I saw this in like a bundle and I was like, oh, I should get it, but I don't need it. But it's just a really pretty green. It's kind of similar to what I have on my eyes today, but it's a little bit brighter. So that is the shade Keanu Leaves. I'm so excited. My day is made. I think these usually go for like $14 something like that and I know they're on sale right now but I think they're still around like 10 bucks so you know I paid 50 but I've already gotten a great brush a great liner and there is 14 more items in here this is crazy let's see okay we got oh my god oh this is a 630 okay so I got a 630 and a 610 so the 630 looks like it is a little bit longer and a little bit Thicker. That's the 630 right there, and this is the 610. I'm trying to angle it so it doesn't have a glare for you, but you get a little bit more precision with that 610. Maybe it's the 630 that I have. I have to look now. Okay, I'm telling all sorts of lies. I have a 620, and I got a 610 and a 630, so I've got like every size of tiny liner brush. Yes, I like this. That's what I use today, the 620 to put on my green eyeliner. Oh, we got another Hydra liner, and I got the shade Balkus? No, Buckwaz. Oh, I'm like, what is this talking about? And they have it like a phonetic spelling. It's Buckwaz. When she says she'll be ready in 10 minutes, i.e. bullshit, nonsense, or gibberish. Oh my god, what does Keanu Leave say? It just says Matt. So this is a chrome Hydra liner. This looks so pretty. And if you don't know, Hydra liners, you just add water to them and then they go back to dry when you're finished. That way, like it's not getting dried up. You always just add your water to get it to the consistency that you like. But look at that. That looks like it's gonna be really pretty, but literally like there's nothing going on with this. You add water to activate it, but they are so pretty. I did a little Instagram video that they actually reposted and I was showing like the bright ones and how you can mix them with white to make them lighter. Any of the neon ones will like glow under a black light. They're so cool. Another brush. This is the 460, which looks like a eyeshadow blending brush. That looks like a really nice brush as well. I like this because it's, it's soft enough, but there's still a little bit of coarseness to it. I said this like a hundred times and I granted I want it to be soft and nice and blendy but I feel like the bristles need to have a little tiny bit of coarseness to be able to really move the shadow the way that you need so this feels like a really great brush let's see okay, so we got a glossy lamination liquid lipstick oh and this is in the shade fictional reality so this is the packaging I have not tried this formula from Suva Beauty so I'm excited I like um, like shiny liquid lipsticks so hopefully Ooh, look at that shade there. It looks like a nice like berry. So that is fictional reality. Oh, I think I feel another liner, but I want to grab something else. Hold on. Ooh, I think this is another brush. Ooh, this is a bigger brush. This is the 180. This looks like it would be nice 
to contour with, maybe even like a precision blush. You could probably highlight with this, you could contour with this. Really versatile one. Ooh, this feels so nice. A little bit softer than that blending brush, but oh, so nice. And I keep touching this one. So this is another chrome hydro liner and this is in the shade Gold Digger. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I like these chrome ones. I can't wait to try them out and see how they look on the eyes. So this is Gold Digger. As you would expect, more of a true, true gold. Looks really pretty. Cannot wait to try these out. This is the 350. Oh, I've actually been wanting a brush like this. I keep eyeing this one Sephora Pro brush that is kind of like this one. It's kind of flat, but it's got a little bit more density than a true flat brush. But this will be great to really get into the lower lash line or even like getting some color right into the inner corner. That would be perfect. So yeah, the 350 brush. What else? Another brush. I got the 530 brush. Ooh, this is another one that would be really good for the lower lash line. This one will be really good for blending the lower lash line. It's got a little bit more movement to it. There's a little space in the bristles so you can really get a good blend on, but you've still got some precision with that one. This is another glossy lamination liquid lipstick, and this is the shade Elysium which looks like this. So I think it's gonna be a red because the berry one had like a berry packaging. Ooh, it looks really pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's like a bright, vibrant red. So that is Elysium. We got the 410, which looks like a little precision blender. So it looks like this one you could use to really get some blending, but more precisely. So I think I would use this when I want to start blending colors, but I don't want to blow them out. Just want to blend in a certain area. This is really good, gives you a lot of control. And I like that this one's a little bit longer, but still really small, so I can get just where I want it. We got the 550. This one looks a little bit more densely packed. It's a little bit wider. All right, we got a Moisture Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Thunder. Woo! That is a bright, kind of fun periwinkle, but a little darker blue. So we got one, like, really funky color. Again, that is Thunder. But I like that they did a couple wearables and just one funky one. We got, what is this? This is the 420. So this one is a good crease brush. It's not super like blendy, like I would go in with a bigger brush after this to really blend out the eye, but I feel like this one's really good for getting into that crease and beginning to blend. We got one more brush, so I'll just grab that one. This is the 140 brush. That's a nice one. I feel like this will be really good for highlight. It's still a little bit bigger. You got a lot of room to blend there, but it has some precision. It kind of comes to a point, so I feel like you could get a nice highlight out of this. You could probably use this for contour as well or even on the cheek jawline contour. You could do a lot with this brush. So the 140. So we're down to the last item. This is a big box. It's the Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. I have not tried these, and I don't know if these are new or something that's been around for a while. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. That's pretty. Ooh, look how reflective. So they're pretty gold. I just kind of blended it out over my hand so that you could see what it would do all over. I feel like this would be a nice one to put on before foundation for like a lit from within type of glow, but you could probably use that to highlight as well. Probably need to give it a good shake, but this shade is called Trust Fund. Yeah, shake well before using. I only kind of like pumped it a little bit, so I'm sure a good shake will help it out as well. Let me get this in order for one second. Oh my god, I just saw the card. It says, thank you for choosing Suva Beauty. I hope your day is as nice as your butt. Oh my god. That's really cute. And then they also included a little card about using the Hydra FX liners. So I actually got 17 items in total. I thought it said 16 or maybe they just put in an extra, I'm not sure. So I got a total of 10 brushes. Oh my God, like I'm all set for eye brushes. I got a couple face as well. Three of the Hydra liners and I'm so excited about Keanu Leaves. 
that just made my day and then of course the three lips and the gold drops as well like wow we got a lot a lot of stuff for $50 like I'm super impressed with this mystery sack so I would say if you see these again scoop one up if you're interested in getting like a little bit of a variety the brushes seem really really nice these are on par with like Sephora Pro brushes or the Morphe Elite line if you have those I feel like they're very much on par with that and I got so many for such a small amount 17 items for $50 that's like three dollars an item something like that wow so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this mystery unboxing let me know what you thought below and leave me a big thumbs up if you like these type of videos so that I know to keep doing them don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you know of all my future uploads also just want to put it out there again if you think you're subscribed already just check the little heart in the bottom corner and make sure that it says you are subscribed because people are getting unsubscribed left and right here on YouTube and it's a pain in my butt. Just double check if you have a second and that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!